works. Technical difficulties. Always fun. I really do like this music though. I gotta look up who developed this game. I have to look right in the credits. Oh god, that's... Nope. We don't need to do that yet. streaming. Don't know if I'm actually going to be showing up on camera. But, um, maybe I should just turn off the camera itself. Yeah. That kind of improves things a bit, maybe. case hi this is Michael of the of the Freelance Solidarity Project variety and general player of games <laughs> I've done a lot, a lot of these already and yet I'm acting so nervous but now I have more people following me so pressure um, let's, let's really put this music down because that piano can play a note um, I'm checking out this game called Pillow Castle, just, uh, not Pillow Castle, Super Liminal, just came out this week from, uh, Pillow Castle. Uh, thanks to the f folks at Evolve PR for the code. Uh, this is my first time with this game, so I have not know what to expect, except that it's very similar, uh, in scope to a lot of perception reality bending games, where you solve puzzles based on your position, just objects in the room, all that jazz. So this will be fun for my mind of minds. So everything else is good. How about I turn on VSync? I wanna see what that does. Oh, there we go. Higher frame rate. Uh, yes, hell yeah. Let's get started. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? You know it. At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscult will make your dreams come true. Sure. I'm gonna check now if I'm streaming again. Holy shit, 250 FPS. No one can see it on stream, but that's what I'm getting on here. Uh, Okay, okay. That's enough of my echo. 
Uh, keyboard, mouse. Oh shit, nope. We need V-Sync, cause this shit... This shit is gonna do some stuff. All right, maybe I'll have test room. Oh, well, I just signed the terms of service without reading it. That's always good. I should get a control for this. Nah, fine with keyboard and mouse. Whew. Chess pieces, yep. Perception is reality. Oh, shit. Oh, right. That's great. That's fucking great. I love that. Okay, so... Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Cool. Man, this is <laughs> this is not going to work with my mind. <laughs> Hold right click to rotate. Oh, okay.
saw this and I don't have a reflection. Oh. Right. There we go. That was a waste of time. So now what? There we go. Man, this is actually playing with my head in a way that I'm not used to. Oh no. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. <laughs> Very glad it's from Portal S. Okay, so what's this now? Okay, there's a button there. There's that. So you want me to do this? Like so. Yep, okay. Alright, easy enough. Is there a save? I'll oh, save and quit. Okay. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Take this soda. I grab this. Can't use any more of that. than I imagine. There we go. And then... Oh no, I gotta go smaller. So I gotta go... All the way back like this. And put it right there. Nope. Right there. Nope. Right there. Nope. What am I looking at here? All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. How would I do this now? I'm gonna do something really, 
really thick. Jesus Christ. Yes! It worked! Oh my god. That's awesome. I wish I'd be commenting more, but I love when I'm playing right now. What's over here? Apples, some pears. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, more with these horseshoes. More with these apples. And I'm getting turned around? Maybe. More horses. And I'm just going to head towards the exit. So what are we doing? Should I have brought an object with me? to a certain size, or you know what, no. I have to put... Here we go. This is what we do. Like that. They just seem really fucking big. Seem really big. Put it on 
that side? No. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, this is massive. So now we gotta put this on both. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. What? Push this down? Or do I have to climb up there? Kinda wants me to go up there. Cause I can't fit through that and I can't shrink myself.
Back in bed. Oh shit. That's cool. The loading screen. This is really cool so far. I'm always a fan of games that do this. Like, I feel like you have to do more now in the puzzle genre to really stand out and having like a narrative tw twist to it. Whether done before or done in a different way, still adds to like this entices me, but I must know more, and not knowing more can also be great. So I have no idea what's happening next from here. Aesthetically, this game reminds me a lot of uh, Stanley Parable, but if the Stanley Parable really wanted you to be serious about the testing. Oh, we're getting there now. Do I need the soda still? I don't even know. It's like a playhouse. You can't trust anything, and I'm going around in a circle. So I gotta figure out. How the hell am I gonna get up here? I'm gonna take a chair. Can't take the soda. Maybe I can throw the soda over. Yeah, I can bring it over here. Where did I put the soda? No, I'll bring the door. I'm gonna bring the door.
something. Oh, right. Design too much eggshell. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of this because anything's possible in this game. Cloud insert. Okay. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. Is that you and McGregor? So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry. We're working on it. Okay. Can I bring something? No, I can't. Is it just gonna play again? Probably. Left pass. Same path. Or like that. 
missing here? I'm missing a white, but... Is there anything else I could take from here? No. Maybe I don't really need it. one yet. How did I even get the first one? Because well, the other piece was filled in, but... This one is it. So do I have to fill it in or I have to work with the limitation?
is a really good one that I don't know how to solve. What if I just... back over here, because I need this to go through the doorway. And I have to figure this out with my own. Nothing in that suitcase. Nothing in that there. <laughs> this fucking piano. I don't know why this looks like a cross. It's like... in this game? I don't actually know. Probably not. Let me also make sure that this is the right version of this game. This is... No, this is 1.0 because it did just release, so... Good. said something and I missed it. <laughs> Perfect. How 
precise do I gotta be? Do I gotta get higher? Not too high? No, because the lantern is matching with the black and the white. And so, to form the actual coup, because once the people who are joining, once this forms, it will pop and appear as a cube to help me get to the next part of the stage, but my trouble is a piece of it's been ripped off on the wall or not been painting on as in the context of the game, and I have no idea how to solve that. <laughs> this precise. I might, it might be staring right back at me, and I'm just not getting it, but I'm trying to see what I can do. Oh, you know what? It's the square, you know what? What was it? The square is up in the upper corner. this game, and this is the one that stumps me.
I can also tell what it actually looks like. It's no longer a lantern. And I'm wondering if I'm actually trying to make sure that the lantern doesn't seem visible anymore. That seems to be what I'm doing. Because I'm seeing that white outline, but maybe that's just a thing with the game that's unintentional. Like, I'm trying to see, like, if I can play with the light over here, but I don't think that's possible. Because it's more about bending your perception of objects you look at. So, like, I'm looking at this, but as it goes, it falls. Well, not that time. But as it falls, and you see it falling, it gets bigger. Perception of reality and everything. But if I'm, like, far away, it gets much smaller. The ones on the wall, for a time, were not tricky to me. But I'm trying to see. Like, I, this is just unnecessary on this table. Straight up. Like, yeah, I'm playing with the shadow, but... It's not really... I don't think the shadow really at play in this puzzle. I literally got, like, not, in, not knowing I would have gotten quickly, but again, this piece of paint right here is some asshole didn't want to paint to finish the job, or they were trying to paint over the cube. I don't know. I just want this fucking cube off the wall. <laughs> extinguisher letting out some extinguish and that's it like is there another soda machine I can get soda can from make me want to go all the way up that lantern. That light. Whatever. If anything, I'm just messing with what I have to do here. See, because, like, I do need a second one to get up there. Oh, you 
You know what? Wait a minute. See, this project- man. What would have been cool is I can interact with this projector to project something and it doesn't, and it would be on the light, and there would be paint left on it, but it's not happening. <sighs> See, this is- I'm, I'm not good at this genre, but this, this game seemed to be different at first. This is absolutely worth getting. Like, from my time with it, it's absolutely worth getting. But for me personally, uh, the puzzle genre has always been accessible to me because of just, like, how I just give up. And, you know, I could use a guide, and I don't think it's bad to use a guide to help you through puzzles, but in the end, I still feel like I'm cheating at times, and self like, the, the parts of self-discovering uh, how to solve a certain puzzle is always satisfying. So that's always sad, but this this game is really, really cool. I really wish I knew how to solve this puzzle. Uh, yeah, I can't <laughs> I can't do it. I, I, my head's hurting. I've been streaming for an hour. I think I'm gonna call it here. This has been Superliminal from Pillow Castle. Uh, thank you again to Evolve PR for the code. Um, if you want to catch more streams like this from me, you can go to twitch.tv slash bag man man man. That's three mans because the one man was taken. Twitter.com slash bag man man. Again, two mans for Twitter because the one man was taken. And you can catch me just on my email there and just talking about what I'm doing with the National Writers Union under the Freelance Solidarity Project. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since the last stream where I've been elected in that position, so yay, that's awesome to me. <laughs> Um, but thanks again for anyone who joined or stopped by, I really appreciate it, um, and I hope everyone has a lovely Thursday. Take care. Bye!